What's up, Internet? Asus kindly lent us their tough 6800 XT card, and I was excited, but I was also kind of scared. Why scared? Because the AMD 5000 series cards had a notoriously buggy reputation. To be clear, I'm not specifically talking about the Asus 5000 series cards, but just in general, the AMD 5000 series cards. The drivers were so buggy that a lot of customers just gave up. We had customers coming to us complaining. RJ from Pwede Magtanong also had problems. Rocky the Programmer said that it took him months to get his 5000 series card unstable. So this was a deal breaker for a lot of people. And the first question should be, has AMD fixed their driver issues? with the 6000 series. And I'm happy to report that they have. I experienced no issues at all with the 6800 XT. Driver installation was as easy as it usually is and performance was rock solid among all of the games I tested as well as other productivity applications like video editing. So it looks like AMD's driver issues are behind it and I certainly hope so because those 5000 series drivers were a mess and they were a deal breaker for a lot of people. So you might actually want to consider purchasing the Tough 6800 XT and what do you need to know? I'll be comparing it to the Tough 3080 because I was also able to play around with that card. And in the card wars, the 3080 is supposed to be the one to stack up against the 6800 XT. So they both belong to the same tier. First, this is a big boy card at 320 millimeters and it seems even longer than the Tough 3080. When I was installing it, I kind of had to dip it into the case. I couldn't just horizontally install it into the PCIe slot. You know, I had to kind of wiggle and maneuver it into place, which I don't remember having to do with the Tough 3080. So this one feels a bit longer even. Make sure your case has the space for it. Performance-wise, the Tough 6800 XT is neck and neck with the Tough 3080. I don't want to give exact performance numbers because my setup was a bit atypical. My test rig is really kind of old, so it might confuse people who are expecting higher numbers all around. But in my personal testing over multiple games, the 6800 XT was just as good or sometimes slightly slower than the Tough 3080. And this generally jives with what the rest of the internet is reporting. Some games, the 6800 XT will do slightly better. Some games, the Tough 3080 will do slightly better. It's just a matter of which games are optimized or if this game does better with an AMD card. Performance-wise, the two cards are really at parity. You know, just a little nip and tuck, one higher, one lower, but overall, very similar numbers. The Tough 6800 XT can dish out the performance while remaining cool. It seems to at least superficially share the same cooling system as the Tough 3080. And this is an all-metal cooling solution. The shroud is aluminum and the backplate is metal. The card does get quite hot to the touch, but it doesn't seem to get too toasty inside the card. So I assume the heat radiating off the card is the cooling system doing its job, whisking the heat away from inside to dump it on the outside. And even when I ran the card hard, the temps never rose to such an extent that I became alarmed. So bottom line, should you get this card? It's roughly neck and neck with the 3080 in terms of performance. Usually you might find it a bit cheaper, but the Tough 6800 XT is also not an easy card to find. So in the GPU Armageddon that is 2021, I will sort of break it down by scenario. And I think that's a more rational way of approaching whether you should buy a GPU. So scenario one, both cards are available, the 3080 and the Tough 6800 XT, but the 6800 XT is cheaper. In that case, I would definitely buy the 6800 XT since it delivers about the same performance as the 3080. If you can get it at a cheaper price, then that's a good deal. If you can't find the 3080 and you can find the 6800 XT, then I would also go for the 6800 XT. I wouldn't wait around for a 3080 because again, it's GPU Armageddon and nobody knows when stocks will loosen up. Finally, scenario three, if you can find both cards, the 3080 and the Tough 6800 XT, and both of them are at the same price, what should you do? If you're entrepreneurial, you buy both cards, you scalp the 3080, and then you keep the 6800 XT. But if scalping's not your thing, then it really comes down to are you team green or team red? Either way, it's good to see that AMD has put its troubles behind it and that it can come up with a card that stands basically toe to toe with the offerings from NVIDIA. The Tough 6800 XT did not disappoint and now I'm just excited, no longer scared. Thanks for watching.
Thanks for watching, Internet, and special thanks to our top fans Christian Espinosa, John Ruben Ocha, ITX Addict, Ian Meru, Richard Onkinko, Leah Magnaye, and Dom H. Maraming maraming salamat po.